What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about how you can optimize Sniper Elite 5 for the best possible performance on your computer. For me, I have it on Steam, but this works if you have it on the Xbox Game Pass as well. So I'm heading across to Steam, searching for Sniper Elite 5. I'll skip through the normal Windows optimization and things like that. If you haven't already optimized Windows or you don't know what else to do, in the description down below you'll find links to the Windows 10, Windows 11 and the NVIDIA optimization guide on my channel that I highly recommend you follow through with. On top of this, close all background programs, run as little as possible including overlays and make sure everything's up to date. Anyways, let's get into firing up Sniper Elite 5 for the in-game options. Though before we even get there, you'll see a launcher over here. I'll start by clicking the settings button and we'll optimize what we have here. The rest of the options are in-game for us. Obviously, make sure full screen is selected. Select whatever native resolution you have for your monitor or a compatible resolution to make sure things aren't blurry. Fidelity FX Super Resolution is a really great option to have and I'd recommend setting this to performance later on if you'd like extra performance from your computer. The further down you go on this list, the worse your game will look graphic artifact wise, but the higher FPS you should be getting as this is upscaling. Anyways, I'll leave this off for now. Rendering API, I'd highly recommend leaving on DirectX 12, but you can fall back to Vulkan if your graphics card is having issues or you're getting errors when starting up the game. The graphics detail should be set up for your current graphics card, but of course you have the standard options, low all the way up to ultra, try and select the closest option you think that would fit your current graphics card. I have a 3080 Ti, so I can more than comfortably push this up to ultra and it'll change all the options below this. Obviously, if you have a 1080 Ti or somewhere around there, select high or medium, and of course, anything below that, well, that's for you to guess. Obviously, the lower you push all of these settings, the more FPS you'll be getting, but some of them you don't really need to turn down, including, say, texture detail. This one is completely based off how much VRAM your graphics card has. If you have a higher-end graphics card with more VRAM, you can comfortably leave this on high or even ultra if you have tons of VRAM available. Otherwise, if it's a cheaper, lower VRAM graphics card, you'll need to select medium or even low. This shouldn't have a huge effect on FPS. Maybe it does between high and ultra. But the only way you'll start losing FPS is if your computer struggles for VRAM. So just keep that in mind. NC aliasing I'd highly recommend setting to off unless you absolutely hate jagged edges, in which case you can turn it on and play around with it as you see fit. Shadow detail, obviously in a shooter game you're not going to be staring at shadows all the time, you can comfortably set this to medium or even low. Draw distance, obviously it's a sniper game you want to see as far as possible, I'd recommend keeping this on high or even ultra, though if your computer really struggles, you can turn this down. High is probably a good middle ground here. Reflection detail, obviously another thing that you're not necessarily going to be staring at all the time. You can comfortably set this to low, but if you start to notice it in weird places, you can of course crank this up. Finally, water detail, once more you're not going to be staring at water all the time, I'd recommend setting this to medium. Low may be a bit too low and you may notice just how clay and plasticky the water looks. Motion blur I'd recommend turning off unless you like this for aesthetic reasons. Tessellation is fine, you can leave it on. Obscurance fields, I've never heard of this before. It will render ray traced soft shadows around the player and other characters. I would recommend turning this off for better FPS. And finally, screen space ambient occlusion, you can leave this on, it has a minimal FPS impact. Then HDR, obviously have this on or off depending on your monitor. VSync, I'd recommend having off unless you're specifically receiving a screen tearing where the top half of your screen doesn't sync with the bottom half and things seem to tear apart. Async Compute, I'd recommend having this on to get better FPS. And finally, reduce mouse lag. You can turn this on if you're receiving mouse lag. Otherwise, I'd say just leave this off. It'll force your GPU to not run too many frames ahead, thus reducing latency. But of course, it could affect your FPS to some extent. Leave this off unless you absolutely need it. Play with easy anti-cheat, obviously have this on, especially if you're going to play online. The driver warning over here, you can skip if you keep getting an out of date error when you're starting up the game. And of course, the rest of the options here are audio device, etc, etc. Audio reverb quality, I would recommend leaving on normal, unless you have a beast of a CPU, as raising this will make the game sound a lot more immersive, but of course it will eat away at your CPU. Depending on whether your graphics card or CPU bound when you're playing this game, this is a setting you can comfortably turn up if your CPU is not doing much while you're playing and your graphics card is what's holding you back. 
Finally, now that we've gone through all of these settings here, once more, make sure to play around with the Fidelity FX at the very top. I'd recommend playing around with this to see exactly what things look like. In fact, I think this is backwards. Ultra should be the highest quality, quality, balance, and then performance. So the further up this list, not counting off, the more FPS you'll be getting, but of course, the worse the game will look. Maybe we can change this in game. I hope so. I'll click OK and fire up the actual game itself. It's prompting me about an ANSI sheet, so I'll click yes, wait for it to install, and the game should then fire up. So there we have it, now we're in game. As you can see, it's nice and crispy. Options, display. We can play with the settings we had previously here. And up here, we have AMD Fidelity FX. Once more, performance, balanced quality and ultra. Having a look at this man's face over here, I'll crank it down to performance and you can see things got really blurry, but cranking it down to ultra, you can see things are looking a bit sharper and it's much more crisp than performance. So yes, my theory seems to be correct. This is upside down. Ultra quality will gain you a handful of FPS all the way up to performance to get the most. Setting this to off, as you can see in the top right, I'm sitting at around 140-ish FPS, 140, low 150s. But if we set this to ultra, you can see this is raised to 160-ish, 170, even higher, 180. But if we crank this down to performance, you can see while we seem to be kept at around 160, maybe this is CPU band at this point, there's not too much going on in this scene. Balanced? Yeah, definitely. So I'd recommend playing this game on ultra, if not quality. Things start to seem a bit blurry, you can see the eyes have some artifacts here. So ultra gets rid of those artifacts for the most part. Obviously, off is the most crisp experience. That's really user preference, depending on how many FPS you're getting. So hosting a quick co-op game to skip all the intros. You can see that the game looks pretty crispy and I'm sitting at a solid 90-ish FPS on A3080 Ti at 2K. Not too bad, but options and cranking it to ultra. Things look pretty much the same and my FPS is now in the 100s, more at least, almost. It's a little bit higher. Game options, find out the FX performance, we should now be getting a ton more FPS. Yep, things have definitely improved at least a little bit. Obviously, I'm very CPU bound and other things like that at the current point with the rest of the things running on my computer, but the game doesn't seem to be running too bad, all things in mind. There is a lot going on on my computer at the moment, so these FPS numbers aren't exactly accurate on what you'll be getting. But other than that, the game doesn't seem to be running too bad. That's really about it for this quick optimization guide. Once more, in the description down below, you'll find some extra steps that you can follow. I highly recommend checking out those videos as it'll definitely get you a ton more FPS in all of your games, not just Sniper Elite 5. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.